Welcome back, children. It's me, Mr. Wonka, uh, who owns this wonderful chocolate factory. Today, I have the pleasure to teach you all of the capacity inside of me that has led me to be boss and owner of Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory with uh, the individual behavior of a boss. Thank you, Mr. Wonka. It's me, Faruka. I cannot wait to hear about the individual behavior as a boss and to be an owner. Can you please start now? Oh, thank you, Mr. Wonka. Are you going to talk about how to make chocolate? I'm asking because I love your chocolates. Is there any challenge involved with your speech that comes with a prize? If so, I'm ready to win anything as always. Hey, it's Mike. Yeah, I have a question for you. Mike, of course. How can I help you? Does individual behavior build the factory? Yes and no. Individual behavior doesn't physically build the factory, yet it is a part of my skills that I've used to put together this factory because individual behavior through me uh, helped create a free conflict environment between me and my workers. Did I answer your question, Mike? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wonka, for having me here today and learning about all your knowledge and success. Well, let's continue on our tour while I tell you about individual behavior. Individual behavior has a lot of factors, and when it comes to being an owner, one of them is treating your subordinates correctly, meaning the employees. And this comes along with many challenges, such as commanding them to do well so they get those jobs done, but not strictly doing so, so they are discouraged or, in fact, stop, you know, listening. So how is this involving chocolate? I'm confused. Mr. Waka, where did you even learn about this and how to go about it? I heard that individual behavior involves substantial human cognition. No, Augustus. It does involve chocolate, but not in the way that you're thinking. This is a skill to create a great team to have in the factory to make your favorite chocolate. Once you have that one-on-one -on -one basis with your employees, and your employees respect you through your individual behavior, then you make a create a team. I learned about my individual behavior on a daily basis since I started interacting with the employees from day one. Understanding the employees is a great aspect into making a great team in order to create items like chocolate or just individual managing that can be used in other forms of management other than the chocolate factory itself. And it does involve the human cognition as well. It, it has the process in which it makes a connection to understand and to acquire the information that can be transformed stored and used in a business sense for managing.